Four years ago, I returned to the UK after spending 18 months traveling the world on a bike. During the last four years, I've not done a lot of bike travel. I feel like I've been missing a crucial part of what makes me feel happy and complete. That's what's driving me to get back on the saddle, even if it's just for a couple of weeks. One of the places that captured my imagination on the world bike trip was the deserts of the USA. I previously cycled through Death Valley National Park, only that time, I stuck to the roads. For this trip, rather than sticking to the roads, I'm gonna be mostly following off-road tracks through the deserts and mountains of Southern California. I will be following the SoCal Desert Ramble, which can be found at bikepacking.com. This 800 kilometer route will take me from San Diego to Los Angeles via the Anza Borrego Desert, the Salton Sea, Joshua Tree National Park, and the San Bernardino National Forest. After building my bike at the airport, my aim was to cycle 1 hour 30 minutes across the city to Union Station, where I'd be getting a train to San Diego. First time on a fully loaded Surly Bridge Club. Here we go! We're in America, baby! Oh, some 30 minutes. So into my cycle to Union Station in LA and I am tired. Real time, I think it's about 10 p.m. UK in my brain. So I've just landed. I'm a bit jet lagged, but I'll be okay. The sunlight and excitement of being in a new place will drive me on. I've made it to the Amtrak to get to San Diego. I've, I've got here with like 15 minutes to spare, so not a lot of time. Great little spot for the bicycle. So in England it's 2 a.m., so I'm a bit tired. I've just been cycling basically from midnight till 2 a.m. in my brain. Oh. I'll see you soon, LA. Be back in about 12 days, it all goes to plan. Oh, let's do it. I've made it to my hotel, the bike is safely inside, there's no issues with that. They were just like, yeah, let you have your bike in. Okay, good night, tomorrow is really day one. Good morning. Day one, really, let's count today. It's day one as I leave San Diego. It's a very misty morning. I do need to get some camping gas and a little bit of food. I'd like some breakfast before I leave San Diego. The jet lag has got me good this morning. Been up since 5 a.m. I'm on the road. I think I left at like six. So a lot of the shops I need to go to don't open till nine but I don't want to just stay in San Diego for three more hours. So I'm just going to get going. Just getting past this big old naval base. Massive, this is a behemoth of a base. It's got a bike path here, which is very nice. Good morning. So I've just been to Walmart and I've bought a load of stuff. This is all the good stuff. Simply because you can't get this flavour in the UK. I live on these, so I'm gonna put these in a little dry bag. A big old container of <laughs> trail mix with <laughs> sweets in it, black beans. Cliff bars and camping gas, meat wraps, tortilla. So it's just a, 
basic shop. Well, that came to about $45, I think. That was quite expensive. Gonna have some breakfast. Pop tart. Snicker doodle. I'm guessing this is gonna be peanut. All oh, right, I was expecting frosting on the front. There isn't any. Oh, it's like cinnamon. Salty cinnamon. I've had better. I've managed to pack my food. I've put it in this dry bag behind me. It took a lot of reorganizing to do that more than it should. It's a beautiful day to be on the bike. Let's get out of San Diego. I think this is the end of the tarmac and the beginning of the dusty road and I nearly crashed into the side. Here we go. It's got beautiful very quickly. It's about 16 kilometers out of San Diego. It suddenly starts to feel quite beautiful. The road is the why. <laughs> oh, what's that? Go back. Looks like I've got to lift it over this fence. Let's do it. Okay. Let's follow this grass. There's lots of spiky plants. It's going to be a good test of my tubeless setup. It's the first time I've ever gone tubeless. Hopefully no issues. Well, that's not good. There's a big, big, big old fence in the way. to my stop. A lot of climbing ahead of me today. A puncture. Okay, let's test these out, these plugs. I need to take it easier. Plug has done it. This is some like zombie apocalypse style bridge. I'm exhausted. It's 31 degrees Celsius. It is just ridiculously hot and hard, but it's bloody good. Good riding, flowy, silky descents. The first day of anything is always hard. The first day of school, the first day of work, first day at the gym, anything. That first day is gonna be hard. And I'm glad I've had a hard first day. It'll set the turn for the rest of this trip. 
Look at this. I'm sorry. I'm just taken away with this street. They've got an absolute coach of a bus in there. They've got about 100 cars. They've got a coach, literally a minibus. Hello, skeletons. Halloween almost. Oh, there's some money here. We've got ourselves a stretch of road, which I'm not going to lie, I'm actually quite thankful for. Got a, another 30 kilometers or so to get to Alpine. I'm not sure what I'll do tonight for sleeping. Maybe I'll sleep in the hotel, maybe I'll camp. Look at this healthy bike lane. I do like this in California. Take note, the UK, this is something we could definitely do better. That is farewell to the road. I really enjoyed that road. Oh, but now I'm going to enjoy peace and quiet. So it's 20 kilometers with 600 meters of climb. Should take one hour 50 on a normal road, but these roads be bumpy. This is why I come here, it's for this isolation, nothing. Just the crickets and me, the sound of my tires against the sand. I'm thirsty. I keep drinking, but it's not quenching the thirst. I need to carry more water from now on. I carried four liters today, not enough. And I've refilled once as well. I need to carry more and at every opportunity refill. No laughing matter, running out of water. Somewhere this hot. <sighs> Got a tough climb here. No chance I can cycle that. So I'm gonna drag this bike up. One baby step at a time, because this is steep. This sand is slippy. It's tough, very tough. I'm trying to cycle this, but it's tough. It's so steep. You got it. Come on. Absolutely spent. I'm knackered. I haven't got enough water. I'm jet lagged. I'm tired. The sun is setting, which is a nice thing. It's making it cooler. I do have food. And I am in a beautiful place. Look at this. So I've just come down that big old mountain. I've got a really steep climb ahead. And it's quite it's quite tiring just to talk, to think. So what I wanted, I wanted it to be tough. I feel good, I feel strong. Finally made it up that horrible, horrible climb. It was, I think, the hardest climb I've ever done. I think it's just because I'm sapped, jet lagged in my brain right now. I'm still in UK time, which is half past one in the morning. I'm really struggling right now. I've got very little water. 
what, like half a litre. So I'm rationing that. I've got about 15 kilometres until the town Alpine. So I'm going to try and get there tonight so I can drink. It's worth the discomfort. I'm just going to keep going until I get there, even if it gets dark. I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. I'm so tired. Heart rate is racing. Some beautiful views behind me. You might be able to see and ahead of me. Okay, let's do this. Found a, a motel sign, it's not open. The only other hotel in town is 250 bucks for a night, so I'm not paying that. I've just had a almighty burrito, so I don't know where I'm staying now. Well, the only other option is to camp, so let's get on it. I'm in my tent. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly how it feels. Oh, I'm so tired. I've managed to well camp in the town of Alpine. I'm like about 100 meters, not even that, 50 meters away from people's, someone's house. I'm just on a patch of grass. So I'm a little bit cautious about making this video with lights on. All right, it's, it's really warm. It's like 20 odd degrees. So I think I'm just gonna sleep on top of my sleeping bag. All right, big day today, completed. The day one's always the hardest. I'm glad it's done now. All right, good night.